there it is. Yeah. What is it? David Brown Ward Control. I don't know what model it is. Can you reach it? <laughs> Beautiful. Cheery. Mm. <laughs> Alright. I've got to warn a bit and then put okay. the wheel straight Yep. This has made it. Oh gee, that's close. Once you let that go, it might make it. That's the one. Good job. Put the other one under there. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you I tell you what, it'll be a very happy little tracker. Yeah, yeah it really will. It'll get notes. lots of care and attention and lots of oils and filters. <laughs> it won't know itself. It'll think it's brand new. <laughs> yep. Another treasure for the driveway. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas <laughs> so to ugly. you. That's so ugly. That's beautiful. So I reckon I'll get that running. <laughs> Alright, I've just picked up this old David Brown uh, spray tractor. It's been sitting around on the orchard for over a decade and it hasn't been started in that time. So I'm not sure what sort of shape it's in or what's wrong with it. The owner inherited it, so they don't know much about it. A bit of a gamble really, but I mean, worst case scenario, I can use it for parts. But it's quite an interesting looking machine. I've adapted it to forward control, so all the controls are up here. And uh, it's like a homemade plywood cabin there. But they've obviously put a lot of time into it. Looks like we've had uh, mice living in the cab. I've been eating the seats and birds have been nesting and I notice there's an old beehive under here as well. All these linkages for the gears and controls, they all go underneath here. Um, so you'd have to watch out for branches and things. I'm still locked out of the, uh, the forest property so I'm going to try and fix it up here in town. Uh, I've only got very basic tools. Don't know if we'll get it running here, but I'll give it a try. Uh, it does have plenty of oil. I can't see any major problems from the outside anyway. Alright, so I think that 
That is the David Brown 1210. Look at those numbers. Maybe 1210-1. Alright, so it's a 3.6 litre. 12 speed. Yep. Four cylinder diesel, 61 horsepower. Yeah, that sounds about right. Three. Yep. Three times four. Yeah, so I think it's a 1210. Alright, let's see what's under here. It's got two radiators. That's crazy. That one's got no fluid. Alright, so both the radiators are empty. Hopefully it's just a leak somewhere rather than the blown head gasket. Radiator pipe there. There, get that one out. That took over two liters just in that one there. Just slowly going through. Alright, so let's come up to that one. Possibly that's why the radiators were empty. Hopefully it was just because because of that leak. Check that hydraulic oil. Yeah, so it's got a bit of water in the hydraulics. And what have we got on this side? Diesel tank seems to be half full. Yeah, look at this air filter. Yeah. So that could just be the pre filter. Um, I think these have an oil bath. Yeah, there's an oil bath there. Yeah, we'll check that as well. Look at that. That doesn't look bad at all. And so they have the oil in the bottom there and a, a mesh out there which catches all the dust. So that's looking pretty good actually. No, nothing at all there. Alright, so we might have a bad earth somewhere. They all 
all seem pretty good. That earth connection back there does look quite rusty in there. That could be the problem. I'll see if I can get that out and check it. Well, that seems to be the problem. Just a bad earth connection. Is that fans running now? That is quite rusty, so I'll give that a clean up with some sandpaper. I don't know what sort of oil pressure it's got. That sounds really good actually. And the gears seem to work okay, but it's a bit of a weird gear system. Like one gets in the in the way of the other one, so it's going to take a bit of getting used to. I'll try and put it in super low. I think they're supposed to slide and pivot here, but it doesn't seem to be sliding over enough. Oh yeah, that's got it. You can pull it out manually, but it just needs a bit of an adjustment or something. I'll try that again. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's going super low now. It's a lot better. Oh well, that seems to run perfectly. There doesn't seem to be anything really wrong with it mechanically. Um, it goes through all the gears, and it's just that the low box is a bit tricky to get in, but once it's in there, it's fine. 
Um, brakes work perfectly, clutch is good. I don't know what I'm going to use it for though, because uh, it doesn't have the rear lift, so can't really lift attachments with it, but um, the PTO works. If I could mount the PTO chipper on it, it would be quite quite useful here. So I'd have to probably weld some supports up there and down to there, and um, just have it like rigidly mounted on there all the time. And then we can just use it for chipping around the yard. That looks pretty good about there. Um, I've just cut out these arms and drilled a hole for the pins to go through. So I just need to weld this end to this bracket. So it's going to be rigid. I can't lift it up and down because this doesn't have lift arms. But I can alter the height to an extent with this um, with that top arm, so I can tilt it back and forth. But, uh, yeah, I think it'll be pretty good there actually. It's at a good height um, to feed the branches in. some power lines up there very close to the trees so I'll cut that tree back and uh, put it through the chipper from the power lines now that's much better so we'll see how it goes chewing all that up i'll give the old girl a bit of a grease up before i start okay i'll replace the engine oil it's looking pretty dark That injector pump seems to be making quite a bit of noise, uh, like a ticking noise, so we'll take that one out and see if there's any oil in there. Ok, 
Okay, that is looking a bit low, so I'll put some oil in there. Starting to come out now. Oh, that worked well, didn't it? I'm so thrilled with all of the... Yeah, it's good stuff. That'll be garden. good for the garden. Yep. It's so good, eh? Yeah. Works really well. It does, yeah. The mobile chipping unit. Huh. It's going to be handy, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just have to restrain yourself how many trees that you, <laughs> you take down. Oh, I think we better get rid of the top of that one there. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got a good score there, eh? I think that's probably one of the better tractor engines we've got. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah it runs mint. It's oh, just so ugly. <laughs> ugly? Oh. It's, it's, weird, got, it's got it? character. It's got character. Oh no, it reminds me of something. I can't think what it is. I need bug or something. Yeah, a little beetle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. A little kid in a big <laughs> yeah.